Say it with me now. Woo! Now, we often get a lot of requests for tournaments here for Totally Aga Battle Simulator because when you think about it, there's just so many amazing factions. Tribal faction, farmer, medieval, ancient, you know, secret and legacy. Like, there are just so many units in the game. But then when you add the workshop into things, like things are totally thrown through the ringer here. And if you were to search factions, well, first off, like, look at these. We've got Sub-Zero, Jason Voorhees, Scorpion, Aaron Black, Raiden. It, I don't know who a lot of these guys are. Like, I don't know who Aaron Black is. There's a Spider-Man in Mortal Kombat? What is the world coming to? But like Jax, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, I know those guys. But if you search Mortal Kombat factions, you're gonna find this one by Jippy, and there are a lot of really good units. And what we're gonna be doing, check this out. We're gonna be running this tournament right here. And as you can see, I just did random seeds. So my favorite character ever, because my favorite color is blue and he just looked awesome when I was like a child and I saw Mortal Kombat, my parents were like, you can't play that, it's violent. And I'm like, no mom, please. I wanna, I wanna rip that guy's head off. And then she looked at me funny. Yeah, well, Sub-Zero is my favorite, so he gets a random round two buy, and uh, so does Spawn. And it's like, Spawn was like a comic book dude, right? So, first things first, we've got Scorpion, and we're gonna have different maps. Scorpion versus Cetrian. I don't know who Cetrian is. Like, who are these guys? It's been a long time since Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, man. All I gotta say is Scorpion better win because he's just cooler. Okay, so Cetrian, you look like you look like a like an elf lady, like a wood elf lady. I mean, you definitely got the long hair going in. Scorpion, okay, you got a katana and a jar. What are you what's in the jar, Scorpion? Because Scorpion's supposed to be like some demon, right? Like he, he's actually a skull under his mask. Okay, Cetrian's just gonna call in rocks from outside the map. Scorpion, do the get over here! You're supposed to have a harpoon ability. What? You look like you're riding a pot. And I don't, I don't, I don't think that's a very cool... Oh, yeah! All right, there we go. Finish him! Well, I mean, get over here! Yeah, but Scorpion was definitely, like, one of the coolest ones with his ability. And then his, like, catchphrase. I mean, the movie's coming out on HBO, right? So it's, like, something I'm getting excited for. Guys, can you just... One of you needs to die, okay? Okay. Uh, Cetrian can apparently, like... He's just casually blocking Scorpion's coolest ability. Stab him! Red victory! Okay. Red victory means yes! Scorpion wins. So then, basically what happens... Start the tournament! And then we report the scores. Scorpion wins. And then we submit the score here on Challenge, which is like a pretty cool site if you want to run your own tournaments. So now Scorpion has to fight Spawn in the next round. And that's how we do it. Now, to make things spicy spicy, we're going to go to simulation maps. And I want to find one where there's like a decent chance of just like chaos. And we got Kung Lao. I know Liu Kang, but not Kung Lao. Who's Kung Lao? There he is. Okay, Kung Lao will be blue versus Liu Kang. Yes. All right, man, remember Goro? Goro was like the forearm dude. Ow. Okay, so they both... This is this is totally accurate Mortal Kombat, guys. A bunch of dudes like kick flipping each other. And... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Liu Kang wins. That actually makes me very happy. All right, Aaron Black. Here you go. Aaron Black versus Sindel. Okay, so Aaron Black, who... You kind of look cool. You're like a Western version of a uh, Scorp. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Sindel, man, dude. Oh, God. Yeah, you got to watch out. Let, now, we know who won, but like, let's just see that again. Needless to say, if you have a wind ability, you're going to win on levels like this because it's like the finish him where they fall down and land on those spikes. Oh, my gosh. So, Sindel wins. Now, this kind of sucks because we have Kano in OG against Jax, another OG. I think was Jax in Mortal Kombat 2. He's the dude with the metal arms so he's also got a shotgun because i think he was like some spec ops guy but see this is the thing we're gonna find out and kano kano just looks awesome because he's like he looks like he's part android okay kano don't don't bring a knife to a gunfight because jacks jacks don't care man wow you're really <laughs> he tried to headbutt him and jacks just putted him into the stratosphere oh man all right kano this is not looking good but if i had to choose which one i'd want to win I think I'd, I'd choose Jax, because I'm pretty sure Jax is good, and Kano was bad. Oh! Holy biscuits! What was that? That was some, like, super kick. Oh, get him with the super punches! You just- you guys just keep kicking. Oh! Way to kick him while he's down. All right, blue victory. That means Jax wins. Kano sucks. Here's a question. 
Who is your favorite of all of the Mortal Kombat characters? Now, the Mortal Kombat levels were never totally, like, fair. There was, like, I'm pretty sure some of them had even interactive levels where, like, they could hurt you, right? Well, look at this bridge. It's gonna hurt you. And unfortunately, Shang Tsung and Garrus are fighting off here. I don't know who Garrus is. I feel like I've heard the Shang Tsung. Wait, isn't Shang Tsung, like, the bad guy? Because I'm pretty sure he's, like, the boss. So, boss over here versus Garrus. Now, this is going to be interesting and a little bit unceremonial. We're going to have them <laughs> climactically on opposite ends of the map, and they're going to have to walk towards each other. So I'm I'm putting money on Shang Tsung because he's pretty sure he's the boss of Mortal Kombat 1. Oh, no. Oh, no, Shang Tsung. That's a tornado. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Garrus. Well, look at you. <laughs> Just... <laughs> okay, Shang Tsung, boss of, uh, I believe, Mortal Kombat 1. Dead. Now, we've got Cabal, but then we've got somebody called Noob Sabot. Noob Sabot? Looks pretty interesting, but who names themselves Noob? And Cabal just looks kind of like Kano, but even more ominous. <laughs> <laughs> he just tripped and fell on his face. Oh my gosh. Noob Sabot isn't so noobly anymore. Oh wow, I actually thought he was going to fall in the water. So I'm kind of, I'm pleased that like they did some hardcore parkour there. And like they're just fighting around the water and he's gone. Noob Sabot with like the, the Reaver looking weapon. Wait a minute. No freaking way. Oh, I thought he was going to pull himself out. Okay, well. You save it, victory. Now, this is where things are going to get interesting. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people really, really like Raiden. And Sonya is a classic character. So these are just classic Mortal Kombat characters. Now, Raiden is like the god of lightning, I think it is. Yeah, did you see that? I mean, the camera was a little bit too close, but that was a lightning bolt from, oh, Sonya. And she's dead because Raiden unceremoniously just kicked her in the hole. And Raiden's just like, what's up, dog? So where do we stand right here? Well, after the first round, you can see Scorpion moved on, Liu Kang and Sindel in the next round, Jax and Garrus, and then Noob Sabit and Raiden. We're gonna get to Reptile. And I think Frost was just a variant of Sub-Zero. There's so many characters. So Reptile's got a dinosaur head and frost okay reptile oh man reptile was cool i think he came in in like mortal kombat 2 or 3 and he was kind of like sub-zero and scorpion except he like had a reptile head under his mask unlike scorpion who had the skull and sub-zero was just icy boy oh okay reptile just bum rushed frosty boy oh frost has some serious abilities here if i was a betting man it sure looks like reptile is getting wrecked although whoa okay uh, is this a special ability? Reptile, do some- Not jump over him. <laughs> he's able to block a decent amount. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, he, he's changed color back again. And he's turned to ice. Wait. Wait. Reptile's doing something, man. This did not look like it was going his way, but he kind of had a bit of a comeback there. It's like when you get the guy on, like, his last bits of health. Blue victory defeated red. Wait. Frost died to Reptile. Reptile is zero. In round two. Now we've got Shao Kahn versus Katana. Katana was an OG. Shao Kahn. Oh, you're the dude with the skull mask, aren't you? Which one was he in? There's. Oh, I need a. I need to go. I haven't played Mortal Kombat in, as you can probably tell, decades. So Katana's got the range attacks, and Shao Kahn has no ability to stop that. So Katana might just win this one through a slow but sure war of attrition here. So we'll see how this turns out. But I mean, I think it's clear. I mean, how much health does he have? Like, if he had even one block ability... Uh-oh, things are getting spicy now. No way! Oh, I thought Katana was going off the side. It actually looks like Shao Kahn might go off if she can hit him in the right spot. Because his hammer... Is his hammer keeping him from getting back up? Or is he just taking a nap? Okay, Shao Kahn, you'd lose. Finish him. Now we get to go one of the other OGs, Johnny Cage. All right, Johnny Boy Cage versus Nightwolf. There's a lot of thought put into these guys' costumes. So Nightwolf, oh, he looks like, like a chief. Oh, and he's got a wind ability. Johnny Cage, you're supposed to have some pretty cool kung fu abilities, and you wear those cool glasses. Who who wins? You guys, it's just combat and tabs is all kicks and punches. Well, which is obvious, but like, there's way more kicks than punches. Johnny Cage wins. Oh man, Baraka versus Jade. Baraka was really cool because he'd have like these knives that were like coming out of his hand. 
He kind of looked like Wolverine in a way. And he had a really freaky face. And then Jade, I'm pretty sure, was kind of like, was she like Goro or something? Oh, snap. Okay, don't walk around, you guys. Like, jump down. Slash from the top. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Baraka wins. Jade, you did not have a lot of health. All right, we got a guy called Rain, which just looks like, like Sub-Zero, but purple. And Cyrax. Oh! Okay, Cyrax. Oh, yeah. Cyrax was like the yellowish one. And Rain. Look at Rain. Rain's just like purple Sub-Zero. I mean, come on. There's a lot. Everyone's like, man, the guys with masks are really cool. So we'll just do more of that. Whoa. That was a really cool ability. Oh, he's got range too. Okay, you guys, you got to watch out, man. If you jump off the map, like it still counts. Uh oh, Tornado. He dodged a Tornado pretty well. Oh, no. Rain with the big kick. And Cyrox is going down. I feel like if that one didn't have maps where you could fall off, Rain would have lost, but it's totally angry Mortal Kombat. we've got Devora. Whoa, looks freaky. And then Mylena. Okay, Devora's got like some serious demonic abilities, and she just looks freaky. Uh oh, Devora, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. All right, Mylena, do you got range, or are you, are you gonna just use those knives? Oh, yeah, I think we know where this one's going. <laughs> totally accurate, Mylena victory. Now we've got Fujin against Kotal Khan. Oh my. Kotal Khan, you got a pretty big sword. It stopped glowing and you no longer have access to it. Where are you? Oh, you turned into a bat? What the heck? Fujin looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like the Witcher. Toss a coin to your Witcher, guys. Just toss it. Toss me those coins. Oh, that's my voice. Oh! Kotal Khan with the knockout. So this is where we are right now. We are on to round two, and we're going to have a bronze match as well. Now, this is fun because we get to see Spawn. Spawn was fortunate enough to get a first round bye. Spawn versus the OG, get over here himself, Scorpion. Oh my god, Spawn has a submachine gun. That's going to prove problematic to a dude without a gun, and apparently his samurai sword does not allow him to block bullets. Wow, Spawn. Come on, dude. Is this against the rules of Mortal Kombat? We've seen guns before, and other people are demons, so I mean, like, how is it really fair or not fair? It's just totally accurate. And Spawn is able to block Scorpion's get over here ability. So it's really unfortunate that in both people that Scorpion has gone up against, he hasn't even been able to say get over here with it working. And it looks like he's gonna get unceremoniously chased off the cliff here. Scorpion, rest some pepperonis, my friend. You're a legend and one of the best Mortal Kombat characters there is, but you're dead. All right, OG Liu Kang versus Sindel. Now, Sindel has that ability. My God, Sin Sindel's gonna win this, isn't she? Like, if you were uh, uh, to place your bets, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, we got Jax and Garrus. Now, this should be pretty interesting because Garrus has that tornado ability and Jax has a shotgun. Oh, wow. Sometimes the tornado just spins you off the map. Other times, you know, you were able to avoid it. Jax, get in there and do some melee combat, bud. There we go. You got a powerful punch. You've got a super boxer punch. Finish him. Shoot the shot. Oh, my God. I thought, oh, no, Jax. Um, you, you can clear there's a little bias here in the commentary. Jax, you had the opportunity to shoot him off the cliff. It didn't work, though. But that doesn't mean it's over, buddy. It's never over. Like, say your arms get ripped off by Sub-Zero. You can always get metal ones, I guess. Oh, yeah. Kick to the gonads. Jax wins. Now, this one I'm kind of worried about because it's got one of the main guys, Raiden. Raiden's going to have to fight Noob Sabin, which I'm fairly certain I'm pronouncing incorrectly. Come on, Raiden. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't get scared. You're, you're God. You're an immortal, right? You shouldn't be scared of some dude in a freaking gothic outfit. Oh, the lightning bolt from the top, boy. Come on, Raiden. Get up. Stop taking a little yoga nap. Are you yoging or napping? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're just waiting to like, you're luring him in. Oh, <gasps> no. Raiden has fallen. We've lost Scorpion. We've lost Raiden. This is really, it's really disappointing. But this one is where we're going to find out. We're going to get to see Sub-Zero versus Reptile. Sub-Zero versus Reptile. Come on, Sub-Zero. Freeze that man. Oh, Reptile's got some like poisonous, confusing fumes. I can't entirely see what's happening to Reptile because it's just a blizzard. Jump at him. Do something. Do something. When'd you get a sword? I guess you can form swords out of ice. There you go. You have him. You have him trapped, Sub Zero. You better not lose this one. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. Totally accurate Mortal Kombat. This is this is where it is. Reptile wins. Depressing. 
He's killed Frost and Sub-Zero. He's killed all the Frosty boys. All right, this one's gonna be interesting because it's Katana versus Johnny Cage. I don't think Johnny Cage is gonna do well because Katana's got the, the ranged fire, right? Oh, hold on, never mind. Johnny Cage can't block all of them, but it looks like he's gonna be able to block enough to get close. Katana is walking backwards. Uh, someone please tell Katana that there is no barrier on this map, and if you keep walking back, you're gonna die. Johnny Cage wins. Movie star. Rain versus Baraka. So this is cool. They both have twin weapons, but remember, Rain has this ability to summon a tornado. Oh, wait. Oh, no. He's going overboard. <laughs> Look at them looking at the camera like... Is this, is this really happening? Yeah, Baraka. Goodbye. Now we got Mylena versus Kotal Khan. Okay. Oh, big kick by Kotal Khan to knock Melina off to the lower level. But she is incredibly fast. But then, you know what? When you turn into a bat, I think you're just faster. My God. He just... He just kicked her right in the face and her spine broke. So this is where we stand here. We're in round three, one away from the semifinals. So these would be considered the quarterfinals. Spawn and Sindel. Jackson Noob Sabit, Reptile versus Johnny Cage, Rain and Total Con. So in terms of like, we've got Jax and Johnny Cage as the OGs, I think, left. All right, Spawn versus Sindel, fight! All right, oh wow, okay. Sindel once again making the quickest battles we've ever seen. All right, this one's hopefully gonna be good. We got our boy, Jax versus Noob Sabit. Whoa, is that, did he just deflect a shotgun pellet back? Oh! Oh yeah, oh no, oh yes, oh no. That had to hurt, man. That's that's some damage acquired from falling. From like, look at how much, that would kill most people, but in totally accurateness. Uh-oh, you gotta watch out for that weaponry and if you get scared and run off, man. No, Jax, don't do it, dang it. All right, you noob, dang it really disappointing reptile versus johnny cage fight i think johnny cage has some seriously powerful wep like kicks and he's dead okay cool really cool now there's rain who doesn't seem like he should be good but he has been good but you're going up against the big dog kotal khan and i don't think you're gonna have a chance although if that tornado if you get really really lucky with a tornado as soon as he hits you man it's gonna be bad times kotal kotal's just do the tornado rain do the tornado oh Dang, this just... Wait? Nope, Rain's dead. You can tell by the fact that his purple blades are flying all over the place. Now we're in the semifinals. Sindel versus Noob Sabit. I only know of Reptile, so I'm cheering for Reptile. At this point, it's like, who are... Who is everybody? Now, I think it's only fair that what we do is we go to an arena and have them fight. So Noob Sabit versus Sindel. Fight! All right. Sindel has that... Oh my gosh. <laughs> We have an arena level, but there's a freaking giant door and Sindel just flew him out But that's the first competitor she's fought that survived her first wind blast and in fact He's actually survived too. So even though noob save it killed Jax and Cabal. I'm, I'm kind of cheering for him right now Okay, there we go. Goodbye. It's all over Kotal Khan versus Reptile fight Oh, that was a pretty nice maneuver right there. Jumping past him and then hitting him with some poison. Confusion. You just keep dodging those swords, Reptile. I'm cheering for you now, big guy. Yeah, yeah, keep doing that. Okay, that, that actually might work. Oh, you missed. Watch out! Oh, man. Whoa, how did he dodge that sword? Ooh, doesn't look like it's going well. Oh, there it is. Like, all of a sudden, he just gets his turbo ability to just throw all of the weapons. All of his poison. And it's blue victory. Which means Cabal is victorious again. Well, that means in the final round here, we've got Sindel and Total Khan. And then we've got Noob Saban and Reptile for bronze match. So we'll do them first. But now the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Noob Saban versus Reptile. All right, who's gonna win? And he's dead. All right, blue victory. Blue victory. Noob Sabit wins. Wow. Kotal Khan in the blue corner versus Sindel and her wavy blast. Oh, that actually worked really well. Do you have another one? No, and I don't think you have the power to get caught up in a melee combat. What just happened? Whoa, she like hovered him above her so like he couldn't just swing at her. Oh, okay. Kotal Khan is the biggest and baddest. Now, just out of curiosity, if you were to take Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Ray, Raiden and Jax and Liu Kang. Could you beat Kotal Khan? I mean, hopefully yes. This is like an alliance of the Mortal Kombat characters here. The OGs versus whoever Kotal Khan is. I'm gonna Google him right after this because it's like, 
I've never heard of that guy before. There's a lot of Mortal Kombat's. Oh my god, everybody's dead, guys. No, almost everybody. Raiden and Sub Zero, two of my favorites. Whoa! Liu Kang with the big kick, and Jax gets the final shotgun. So here's where we're sitting for the tournament. We had how many people enter? I think we had 30. Kotal Khan wins the Mortal Kombat tournament. So there you have it. All right, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. If you do have some ideas for the next video, leave them in the comments below. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. And let me know what who's your favorite Mortal Kombat character.